for the people that are wondering who that big beast is on the right hand side of the screen that is the biological mother who did something that i am ashamed to call her black i wish we could call her something else i do not like what she did to this baby at all she hurt this baby's feelings this little girl has a great smile a great personality from what i can see and it seems like the mom is just determined to ruin it because of her personal feelings her name as i found from her facebook page malia jackson m-a-l I Y A H, of course, it's going to be spelled in a hood way. Malia Jackson is this little girl's mom. The biological father, his name is Chase Amili, which is C H A S E, Amili A M I L L I. And he wrote, I snuck up on my kids at daycare because they mama, Jayla, don't let me see them. Don't. To the biological father, if you're going to write something, man, please write it, like revise it, write it correctly so normal people can understand what the hell you're trying to say, bro. Don't go, <laughs> don't go into court or anything else that you do and go writing like this because I can't understand it. He said, I snuck up on my kids at daycare because they mom don't let me see them. And I took my boys to get their haircut. He said day haircut, but their haircut and got my baby girl hair did look what her mama do just cause i got my baby hair did why does he sound like a three-year-old writing this is beyond me i'm gucci but my baby hurt but females talk about deadbeats this is why some niggas say fuck that shit and i remind you she also smushed her birthday cake on her birthday last year. My girl gonna always have hate in her heart. Daddy gonna get custody soon, baby. Hold on for me. Lord Jesus Christ. Why does this sound like Michael Garrett and Anaya Day Garrett when Sierra Day murdered her daughter just so Michael Garrett couldn't get custody of her and that's Cuyahoga County, Ohio, if you guys did not know, by the way. This is what I'm talking about with these men. If you're going to go get custody, just work to go get custody. Do not tell them what you're going to do online. Don't send these bitches threats like this. That's what makes you hood niggas. Because you talk too goddamn much. You niggas got loose lips and they sink ships. In these cases, they get your kids killed. Just shut the fuck up and go get your kid, bro. I don't like that at all. Hopefully everybody understand where I'm coming from. They both play a part in this. They both hate each other. They're both tr at trashy acting. But in this case, I don't mind what the father did by going to get his baby's hair did and make it look good. And it's natural. She ain't got no weave in her hair or nothing. Let me go ahead and give you guys the fair usage and I'll just let y'all watch the videos. Let's get it in. Let federal law allows citizens to reproduce, distribute, or exhibit portions of copyrighted motion pictures, videotapes, or video discs under certain circumstances without the authorization of the copyright holder. This is called fair use and is allowed for purposes of criticism, news reporting, teaching, and parody, which doesn't infringe of copyright under 17 U.S.C. 107. Gotta be still now, let me finish. Sit down, son, so bad I can see your hair. Your hair pretty. My baby said nobody did be crying. I don't care. I told you, stop playing with me. This motherfucker cut my baby hair out of here. So Look at that now shit. Wait. That shit sad. Hurt now my wait. baby feeling. Now wait. Cause you don't hurt the dad. You hurt her feelings. You hurt my baby feeling. My baby sat there for two hours. I do my own girl My baby sat there for two hours. My baby said nobody did be crying. I don't care. I told you, stop playing with me. This motherfucker cut my baby hair out of here. So Look at that shit. 
That shit sad. It hurt now my wait. baby feeling. Now wait. Cause you don't hurt the dad. You hurt her feelings. You hurt my baby feeling. My baby, my, my baby sat there for two hours. My baby sat there for two hours. Let us find out you the one fucked that baby head up and blaming it on somebody else. Boy, you saw a picture. I ain't gonna lie, it was cute. I ain't say it was ugly. It was braided real cute. It just was tight as hell, and I ain't do it. Number one, number one reason on real petty daddy, I didn't do it, and I ain't tell him to let nobody do it. So the second number one reason is that what that was showing no made me cut it out. Oh, I love to see that it was too tight. It was too tight. It was too tight. My baby hell had her, her skin meat was puffing up between the braids and everything. It was pretty, but it was too tight. And I don't even braid her hair that tight. Who was fighting at work? I told you stop playing. This motherfucker cut my baby hair out of here. Look at that now shit. Wait. That shit is sad. It hurt now my wait. baby feeling. Now wait. Cause you don't hurt the dad. You hurt her feelings. You hurt my baby feeling. My baby sat there for two hours. My baby sat there for two hours. Pro blacks always say that hair is an extension of the soul. So I want you guys to understand what this probably did to this little girl's soul, which you just taking her hair. Let me see if I could pull that video up for you again. If you don't mind, you taking her hair and chopping it off and throwing it on the floor and yelling at the dad and smacking him with scissors. What is this two year old, three year old baby supposed to make of this? How is she supposed to process this? How does that affect her emotionally? And especially if you're talking about it's a spiritual thing, what does that do to this child's spirit? That is abuse, okay? With the mom working at McDonald's, you can work anywhere. You can work for the gas station. You can work at a corporation. You can work anywhere, anywhere that you can make legal money. I'm okay with, but with this mother having a job like that, then she should know that the struggle is real when it comes to trying to bring in a paycheck, right? The fact that she has her weave fresh all the time, the dad has his hair fresh all the time, and the mom didn't care about this baby's hair so much to the point to where she sent her out with her hair not done, strike number one, and then the, the second strike number one, the second strike number one, right there, y'all see her hair, the second strike number one, y'all get the joke, is that if it mattered to you that much, then you should have done your own daughter's hair before you sent her out with the father. If you're gonna leave him with a problem, then you have to deal with the way that he fixes that problem, okay? The mom looked like she was ready with scissors before she even inspected the baby's hair. You see, there was nothing, absolutely nothing wrong with her hair. She looked beautiful, she looked happy, she looks like a princess, and I think that she should have been treated as such. To me, this is one of the saddest most hateful and ignorant things I have seen on Facebook. That's why I got 4 million views. That's why everybody was sharing the video. It's outright ridiculous. Who cuts a child's hair, that little girl's hair, because they're upset with the dad? Like what kind of creature does that? If the braids were too tight, then just take the braids down in your own time. She had to do it right then, right there. To me, that signifies selfishness. It's broads like this that make it harder for mothers and fathers to co-parent, and this is just pure ignorance. This is not mental illness, and I want people to call mental illness what it is, and this is not mental illness. What this is, this is stupidity, and we need to stop making excuses for people being stupid, for people choosing to do ignorant ass things. She did not want her daughter to look like a beautiful black child. How about that? She looks like a beautiful black child. She don't look like a Barbie. She don't look like a China, right? She don't look like a Betty. She don't look like a Becky. She looks like a beautiful black child. Her hair is styled in a way that black people, normally their hair would shape up like. She looks like herself. While her mom, turn around, let me see if I can pull it up real quick for you. Real quick, cause I got it right here. While her mom wanna go out and look like this. Her daughter was happy to look like that with her braids. And she was, uh, hitting them with the dab. 
while her mom feels more confident looking like this. That's a stark comparison. Last but not least, the mom takes more care of her hair, what's on sitting on top of her head, rather than what's sitting in the middle of her, of her belly, in the middle of her body. She cares more about what's on top of her head to cover up her hair in which her daughter was proud to have that hair styled in a way that little black girls have their hair while the mom decides to cover up her hair. In that, in that, in that, like, I don't know what to call it. It's ironic. The mom takes more care of her hair than she does her health because you guys know that black women in the black community die from heart disease, being overweight and unhealthy. Very prevalent in the black community. I almost said prevalent. Prevalent in the black community. It prevails. The number one reason why we die, heart disease, being fat and unhealthy. You, but you don't care about that. You rather your hair look like something so you can look like what? I don't know. I don't really get, I don't really get it. But what she did to her daughter was wrong. And I think that she needs to lose custody of her daughter. And if the dad is smart, he needs to just shut the hell up, go to court, show him the tape, get your kid, take care of your daughter, keep her away from this mom. And if you cannot do that, then don't put your child in harm's way. What we don't want is another Brittany Big Belly Bowens. And what we don't want is another Sierra Day who ends up killing another Anaya Day Garrett. That's what we don't want. We don't want to see this little girl be dead. We don't want to see this little girl end up harmed, cut, stabbed, burned, shot, missing somewhere in a trash bag. We want this little girl to keep that beautiful little smile that she had and be happy just the way that she is. And in order to do that, you know that you procreated with an ignorant bitch. Bruh, you know how she is. Be careful how you deal with her and be careful how you deal with your daughter. The best thing that you can do is make sure that you are cautious with that relationship so it doesn't cost your baby. She can't speak for herself, nor can she defend herself from her mom cutting out her own hair and dropping it to the ground and making her cry and feel embarrassed. Okay? I want to Give my heart to yours, to that little angel right there. Such a beautiful little girl. And I hope that, that they can learn from this and grow from this, okay? This is your boy DJ Just J, man. Hell of a show today. That we're the AFC where we advocate for children first. From my heart to your heart. Thank you so much for listening. Guys, we are out. That's the end of the stream. Peace.